Hello everybody and today we are out in Riverside even though there is an LAPD squad car. We're at a 7-Eleven right now and the guy here he likes to collect um, police department cars and we are on an adventure out to Joshua Tree where we are going to go see the Noah Purfoy Art Museum which is an outdoor exhibit of recycled materials so come along and join us for the adventure. We have just gotten off the 10 freeway here and we're headed towards Yucca Valley Joshua Tree area. And so once you pass over the hill where all the um, windmills are, the territory gets windy, obviously, because that's why they put windmills out. But um, it also gets very dry out here. So it's um, as we head up further into the mountains, we're getting higher up into the desert and a lot more brown is what I would describe it as. We are still on Highway 62 here, just coming up around this corner. I just wanted to show this steep road up the mountains as we go higher up into the desert. I expect it to get even more brown as we go up moving out of this valley here. So now we're on the other side of that mountain and to my surprise it is not drier, it's actually greener. Very green. I can see like a golf course here, and there's several like housing developments here in Yucca Valley, and it's surprisingly a lot greener. I mean, I do see Joshua trees out there, but there's water coming into this valley somehow. So um, my prediction was wrong. Looks like homes here cost about three hundred thousand dollars. Seems like a lot of money to be living in the desert. Three hundred thousand dollars. Not sure if it's worth it. Instead of Albertos, they have Algobertos here. Um, overall, my view on this is that it reminds me of a old Palm Springs. It's quaint. Oh, look, there's a place called John's Place. Oh, and I, if I get to eat there for free. Sorry, we have way too many Johns in the world for that. Oh. Well, I tried. No visitors here to California Welcome Center. They've been closed since March 16th. So, we'll just continue on. We are on Aberdeen Drive here almost to the Perform Museum outdoor exhibit. Well, the thing said museum, so I'm going to call it a museum, unless the sign says different when we get there. Um, I was expecting this to be a dirt road, but it's actually not. It's actually a paved road, so that's nice. I can see in people's yards that lots of people are kind of artsy. I've seen a lot of, like, um, metal sculptures. Yeah, metal sculpture type stuff. Lots of Joshua trees, of course. And Continue on our drive up into the middle of nowhere Joshua Tree now. We are 0.1 miles away and it's a little bit bumpy because the pavement did end. Did end. But that's okay because we're only like 0.1 mile away from the actual museum. Whoever Tractor Man is, we're thankful to him because the road is actually well graded for me. We're going to turn right here, it looks like, uh -huh. onto Blair Lane. Uh -huh. Kind of uh, ominous. Blair. Uh -huh. But no doubt about it, we are in the middle of nowhere here. It's probably. The... Oh, I can see the museum over there. There's definitely stuff to look at. It's just an outdoor open museum, free to the public, as long as it's daylight. Donations are accepted, and we'll come look. There's lots of people here, actually. I see some people coming in. So we are not the only ones here at the Purfoy Desert Museum. Again, we're here at the Nicholas Museum, Purfoy Museum. Social distancing, they say, still applies. We've done... 
small donation. And so Nicholas Purfoy, his, his whole thing was he wanted to create art that would inspire you to do today what you would have done tomorrow. What does it inspire you to want to do? Try to climb it. No, no climbing. Hey, you said a lot. Oh. Kind of looks like a spaceship. This? Yeah, kind of. I say time machine. Maybe. Or maybe just some complex figure. It's 3D. It's 4D. Going into some structure. A little bit. Over yes. I have the high ground. Okay. For how long? Don't uh, try it. Don't worry. I have the toilet seats right here. You're sit. You're standing on a bunch of toilet bowls, and you don't even know it. Wait, this is recycled toilets. Yeah, come over here. You'll see. What about this? Come down here. This way. A little bit more. It's Perfect. the toilet floor. Yeah. like a beer cake. It was making a moon still. There's a VHS tape player here. Some old alarm radios. This has a tri-band radio and an old dial-up TV here. That well, looks like it's been around for a while. Some type print what it says oh there's like a bunch of award plaques here is what they are Mara founder tender loving Christmas reflections to the heart 10 years of unconditional love ice carving Palm Springs third place sergeant Richard Richardson it looks like he died In the 1990s, some truck signs. This just says Sergeant Helm JF. Thanks for a job well done. March 7th, Marine Comms. September Semper Fi. Okay, interesting. The sign here says Adrian's Little Theater. So what's in Adrian's Little Theater, AJ? Are you gonna put on? Are you gonna put on a show for us? Yes, I call it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Isn't that what you do I every day? I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's it. Look. There's cafeteria trays over here. Oh. Well, we can have lunch right here, AJC. There's the cafeteria trays. Um, I think we might make this whole structure collapse if we take it. I don't even think it's connected to the structure. Well, that one is. Nope. This is, but not that. Got a hanger. That would be weird if a plane started flying through, huh, AJ? AJ says he's found himself a tomb. Who's it's been raided. It's been raided, huh? Whose tomb is it? I don't know. Definitely looks like it's been raided.
don't even know his name anymore. Kind of looks like a boat to me. A what of amusement park? Oh, okay. Maybe. Looks like in this area is where they keep all the spare parts. Lots of just spare parts. Lots of toilet bowl seats. I don't know what this guy was obsessed about toilet bowls, but he was. You think? Okay. There's a bunch of people's underwear. That's weird. Coming into another shack here. Looks like there's a bed and a TV. Found a little blue tailed lizard over here. He's just looking at a lizard. Hello, Mr. Lizard. I think he made his home inside these trees. Just having fun hanging out by the television set. The colors on this shack kind of remind me of a 50s diner. <laughs> We have this cool medallion of some sailing ships here. Oh, and inside there's some computers. Some really old computers. Oh my goodness. Old typewriters and phone systems and a fax over there. Wow. Let's see, we got some really old computers in here. Some domino sets. Some pictures. Oh, Romance at Holiday Cove. This kind of looks like it'd be like a cage or something. No, our presentation. There is actually an entrance to this place over on this side. So I thought it was like a tiger cage or something, but it's not. It's just another theater, workshop theater place. Got some hanging stones here. Pretty cool formations. See a few cool formations in these stones. Wrapping up newspaper for walls. Over there, it looks like they were trying to do a bottle wall. Just a lot of extra stuff in the desert here. We are here at the Joshua Tree Saloon, which is a famous restaurant here, known for its Wild West ambiance. Actually famous here for their fish tacos. The beer brown taco. And over here their basket of ribs. I can't decide. I gotta figure out which one I want to get. Denise is dealing here with a steak melt sandwich, which is interesting because Denise usually doesn't do meat, but she's doing it today. I got their famous fish tacos and AJ's got mac and cheese and he's on his game right now. Here in the patio section. Oops. I see. That way. I think we have to go out that way. Interesting bus here, hippie bus. They got a gift shop over here. Barber shop.
here at the Jasa Tree National Park Visitor Center. I'm gonna go see if they're open. I don't know if they are or not. I don't think so. I think they're closed, but I will go find out. Nope, there's a lock on the door. They are definitely closed. Too bad. The park's open. You can get park maps. So that's about it right now. So, all the park roads, parking lots, family campsites are first come, first serve. These are being charged. Park restrooms are open and trails. Um, closed are visitor centers and group campsites. Still here, yeah. Still here at Joshua Tree. There's the country kitchen, a lot of bike stores, a lot of trading posts, a lot of eclectic places. I tried to go into that one gift store, but it was too busy. There was too many people. You have to wait outside if it's too busy. Um, so just a lot of things. Looks like a little swap meet's going on out here. A little farmer's market going on. So, life is definitely out in the desert. You see that arrow over there? Uh -huh. Back in the day, those used to like guide planes. Now it's like a it's like a shop of some sort. But that's what they originally for the desert. Desert escrow company. There's a bunch of dog houses there. Anyways, we are now headed out of Joshua Tree. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you Bye. did, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, uh, well, I don't know what you're watching, especially all the way to the end. But we'll leave you out here in the desert until next time. Thank you again.